Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring you the top changes happening to Social Security in 2022. Today I bring you seven important changes that we'll be going over into very specific details. We'll also be talking about the key provisions for Medicare in the Build Back Better plan. And finally, I also bring you payment schedule for the year 2022 for those Social Security beneficiaries. So make sure you stay until the end of this video if you want to receive this information. Now, now before we get started, if you are interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credit, SNAP, PEBT, and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. Now, one of the top changes happening to Social Security this coming year in 2022 is that the income limits will climb. Once again, this is specifically for those who are continuing to work while receiving Social Security benefits. Social Security beneficiaries who continue to work will be able to earn $600 more in the year 2022 before part of their Social Security benefit is temporarily withheld. Currently, you can only earn up to $18,960 in a year. Social Security recipients who are younger than their full retirement age can earn up to $19,560 in 2022 before a benefit dollar is withheld for every $2 earned above the limit. So once again, if you're currently working and you are a Social Security recipient that is younger than their full retirement age, the new income limit for you would be $19,560 in the coming year. So in the year you turn your full retirement age, the Social Security earning limits climbs to $51,960, which would be up $1,450 from last year, or from this year, excuse me, 2021, and the penalty declines $1 withheld for every $3 in excess earnings. Also, once you turn your full retirement age, there is no penalty for working and collecting Social Security benefits at the same time. And your benefit is recalculated to give you credit for your continued earnings and any benefits that were withheld in the past. So the next change happening to Social Security in 2022 is that there will be an older full retirement age. This will specifically affect those who will turn 62 years of age in the year 2022, as they will need to wait until an older retirement age than existing Social Security beneficiaries in order to claim their full retirement benefits. The full retirement age for those born in 1960 is 67. That is two months older than the full retirement age of 66 and 10 months for those born in 1959. The full retirement age increases in two month increments for those born between 1955 and 1959 until it reaches age 67 for everyone born in 1960 or later. Social Security will also have a higher Social Security tax cap. Workers pay 6.2% of their earnings into the Social Security system until their income exceeds the taxable maximum. The maximum amount of earnings subject to Social Security tax will increase by $4,200, making the tax cap at $147,000 in the year 2022. And for the small percentage of people who earn more than $147,000 in 2022, will notice a bump in their paychecks once their earnings have surpassed the taxable maximum and they no, longer, they no longer have Social Security tax withheld from their salary. Earnings above this amount will not be used to calculate future Social Security payments. In the year 2022, there will also be new rules for earning work credits. And here I bring you the additional details. So to become eligible for Social Security checks, workers have to earn 40 work credits over their careers. Paying Social Security taxes on income is how work credits are earned. A maximum of four credits can be earned each year, and there's a certain amount of money you must make to earn each one. So in 2021, you could earn a work credit by earning $1,470, but this coming year, in 2022, you'll need to earn $1,510 to earn each credit. So that actually increased, right? So that means your income will need to be a little higher next year to qualify for work credits that entitle you to future benefits. 
Also, keep in mind that you don't have to earn four credits every year. So for social security purposes, the most work credits you can accrue in a single year is four credits. And even if you only earn the federal minimum wage, if you work full time, you'll earn a high paying enough income to get your four credits in the year 2022. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that you only need 40 work credits in total to qualify for Social Security down the line. This means you don't necessarily need to earn four credits every year. You can earn two credits a year over 20 years, for example, if a very part time work schedule fits best into your lifestyle. But if you're nearing retirement and haven't yet accrued your 40 credits, you may want to pick up extra hours or pursue a more lucrative job if you're concerned that you won't end up with enough work credits to qualify for these benefits. Social Security also announced a change to new Social Security statements. So the Social Security Administration has redesigned Social Security statements to include more information and be easier to read. The new Social Security statements provide personalized estimates of your future Social Security benefit at nine different potential claiming ages, as opposed to the three ages on the previous statements. They are also going to include information about your earnings history, taxes paid, Medicare, eligibility, disability, and survivor's benefits. So those are a few of the changes I did see on there. The statement can also be viewed at my my social security account online. And for those that are 60 years of age and older who don't have a uh, my social security account, your statement can be mailed to you as well. And of course, as we're all aware, Social Security also announced a COLA 5.9% increase. So in October, the Social Security Administration confirmed the cost of living adjustment will increase by 5.9% in the month of January, right? So this coming year in 2022, it means the average 2022 check for a retired worker will increase by $92 more or less from $1,565 to $1,657 a month. Meanwhile, a typical couple's benefit will rise by $154. It could be anywhere from $2,500 to $2,700 per month. Social Security claimants are usually notified by mail starting in early December about their new benefit amount. So this is around the time that you should be receiving a card via mail um, letting you know of your increased payments. The COLA is given to recipients when inflation goes up and prices soared by 5.9% for the 12 months ending September. Now, remember that this 5.9 increase in the COLA also applies to Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. In fact, the average monthly benefit for disabled workers will go up for about $76. That could be from $1,200 to $1,300 in a month. SSDI aims to provide relief for those with disabilities who can no longer work or at the same capacity as once before. The benefit aims to replace a portion of the qualifying work salary. And for those wondering how much exactly will the COLA affect your monthly payment, well here I bring you this chart. So for example, if you're earning about $700 a month and you add the 5.9% increase, that is about $41.30, you should expect to receive a total of $741.30 in the coming year 2022. If you earn, let's say about $1,100 and you add that 5.9% COLA increase, you should expect to receive at the, around $1,164. Now, since we discussed the 5.9% increase in the COLA, we may as well discuss the Medicare Part B premiums that have also increased. And here I bring you additional details as to why this happened and also additional information that may be useful to you. So every year, Medicare Part B premium, deductible, and coinsurance rates are determined according to the Social Security Act. The standard monthly premium for Medicare Part B enrollees will be $170.10 for 2022, which is an increase of about $21.60 from $148.50 in the year 2021. The annual deductible for all Medicare Part B beneficiaries is $233 in 2022, which is an increase of about $30 for the annual deductible of $203 in the year 2021. 
And for those wondering how the Medicare Part B premiums increasing will affect your COLA increase of that 5.9%, here I bring you this chart with the math done for you. So if you receive the monthly benefit amount in 2021, currently of about $366, you add that 5.9% COLA in the year 2022, you get about $21.60, right? So really the net increase, um, after Part B deduction is $0, and therefore your monthly net benefit amount in 2022 after the Part B deduction is $366. So it stays relatively the same. Now, for those who have a monthly benefit amount in 2021 of about $1,565, you add that 5.9 COLA in 2022 of $92.30, then you decrease, right, the net increase after Part B deduction of $70.70, you end up with about $1,635.70. So next, let's talk about why these Medicare Part B premiums increased. So one of the reasons of the big increase in 2022 Part B Medicare premium and deductible are due to a potential use of the Alzheimer's drug and excuse my pronunciation, but we're just going to call it we're going to call it Adahelm by people with Medicare. Adahelm, which is priced at $56,000 a year, is one of the key factors driving a major increase in Medicare Part B premiums for 2022. And this is a according to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The premium increase comes even though CMS has not yet determined whether or and how it will cover Adelham, which also would involve additional expenses for testing, medical facility fees, and doctor's charges. Now let's talk about some possible good news. So Senator Bernie Sanders from Vermont on Friday, December 3rd, sent a letter to President Biden urging his administration to delay an increase in Medicare premiums coming in 2022 following the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's approval of the expensive Alzheimer's drug Adohem, which costs $56,000 per person each year. So in his letter, Sanders urged the Biden administration to immediately prevent the Medicare Part B premium increase, delay Medicare approval for use of Adohem until it is deemed safe and effective, and take executive action to reinstate and expand the reasonable pricing clause requiring drug makers that receive federal funding to charge reasonable prices for prescription drugs and treatments. Sanders wrote, in my view, it would be absolutely unacceptable to force 57 million senior citizens to pay $11.50 more a month in Medicare premiums due to Biogen, the manufacturer of Adohem, drug that has not been proven to be effective by the scientific community. So the BBB is looking at putting a cap on Medicare out-of-pocket drug expenses. So starting in 2024, Medicare beneficiaries with Part D coverage would have a $2,000 annual limit on their out-of-pocket expenses. Another key provision is that the new proposal also adds a uh, also adds a provision that requires all insurers to cover insulin. So patients pay only $35 a month of their own money for this medication. Another key provision here is that the Medicare coverage of hearing aids is included along with other hearing services. In this BBB plan, they're also talking about a CMS negotiation of drug prices. The House bill includes a provision that would empower the agency to the prices of up to 10 drugs in 2023 and up to 20 later on. The new plan could save the government up to $250 billion. And the fifth key provision is that ACA subsidies extended to the non-Medicaid expansion states. People without health insurance in the 12 states, most of them are in the South, that haven't expanded Medicare would be eligible for subsidies of coverage purchased on the ACA exchanges. So according to the Kaiser Family Foundation, the 2 million people could gain health care insurance coverage if this provision of the House bill becomes law. So next, let's talk about the Social Security schedule for the year 2022. So the Social Security Administration has released the schedule of the Social Security payments. These payments will be the first to include the 5.9% cost of living adjustment. So basically, if your birthday is on the first of the month through the 10th, 
Your benefits will be paid on the second Wednesday of that month. So for January's first payment, you can expect your benefits to arrive on January 12, 2022. If your birthday is on the 11th of the month through the 20th of the month, your benefits will be paid on the third Wednesday, making January's first payment January 19th, 2022. And if your birthday is on the 21st through the 31st of the month, benefits will be paid on the fourth Wednesday. So next I have here a visual of the social security schedule for 2022. So once again, it is here navy blue color. Um, if your birthday's from the 1st to the 10th, as you can see here, it's on the second Wednesday. So you're able to see here the color squared navy blue. It's highlighting the 12th. If your birthday's from the 11th through the 20th, you would receive your benefits on the third Wednesday. If your birthday's on the 21st through the 31st, you would receive your payment on that fourth Wednesday. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you next time.